What's up everyone, my name is Nick and today I'll be talking about the big no-no's here in Malaysia. This is Global Gibbon. All right, here we are. So, I was scrolling through the internet over the past days as I'm, you know, at home a lot. I got a lot of free time. So I was looking through the internet and I found this list of 10 or 12 things that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia. So I was a bit intrigued and I looked it up, I, I went through it and, you know, there were some interesting, you know, things there. So I thought this video should be about the 10 things you should not do here in Malaysia. And I've lived here for 10 years. So over these past 10 years, I've experienced various uh, moments where I realized that certain things you just do not do here, which might be normal in my home country, the Netherlands but not here in Malaysia. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you have any comments or if you think, Nick, this is another thing that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia, leave it in the comment down below. And one more thing, I've got an interesting fact at the end of this video, so make sure you watch the whole video. Thanks for watching, here we go. So let's start with possibly the most important thing here in Malaysia, or at least culturally, which is food. You know, there's one thing that you do not do here in Malaysia and that is insult the food or make fun of the Malaysian cuisine. People here, they, they love their food and they make such amazing food here in Malaysia. So if you're ever at, you know, someone's house and you don't like the food, at least try to have a little bit of it, even if you don't like it, and don't complain about it because you might offend, you know, your host. All right, and then, uh, then we've got another very culturally important thing here in Malaysia. As you might know, there's, there's a lot of cultures living here in the country, and there are a lot of tribes, and each tribe, each ethnicity group has their own culture, of course. So another thing that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia is to make fun of their traditional clothing. Every tribe and every religion and every group of people have their own beautiful clothes that they will wear during their festive moments. It is very important not to make fun of these clothes. And why should you? They're all so, so beautiful. All right, now for number three, which came as a bit of a shock or was very unusual for me, which is you don't wear shoes in the house here. When I first came to Malaysia, you know, I wore my shoes in the house and then people tapped me on my shoulder and it's like, Nick, 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 you got to take your shoes off. And I didn't do this because I wanted to disrespect the people or whatever. It's because in the Netherlands, we wear our shoes in the house. But that's just how we do it over there. And over the years, you know, I've gotten accustomed, of course, to not wear your shoes in the house here or even some shops or even little offices. Sometimes they don't allow you to wear shoes. And it makes a lot of sense because, you know, you walk around with your shoes and, you know, the soles of your shoes get very dirty. And, of course, you don't want to bring this into, into your home. So a little tip here is um, to wear slippers. You know, it's easy to take off slippers and, you know, you just take them off and you walk into the house. The first years I was always wearing shoes. And then if we would go visiting for Chinese New Year or Raya, I had to take off my shoes. And then, you know, it took a lot of time and everyone was already having fun inside. And I was just trying to take off my shoes. And over the years, I've learned that it's, it's easier just to wear slippers. <laughs> so now uh, let's move on to number four on this list of things that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia. As a traveler, you know, you, you want to take photos of everything and everyone. And it is important to, you know, ask a person if you can take a photo of them. You know, if they're sitting in a longhouse or if they're a hawker, you know, selling roti, chanai or whatever. So before you take a photo, it's always good to ask their permission. So don't just take people's photos without asking them. It's, uh, it's very impolite and, I mean, perhaps this is not a Malaysian thing. It's, it's, I think it's just common courtesy all over the world, right? So let's, uh, let's do another one. The, um, what was most interesting or one of the most interesting things here of things that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia is to shake certain people's hands, right? So there's a huge Muslim community here. Well, it's actually the majority of the population here in Malaysia. And according to their religion, it is not right for a woman to shake a man's hand and for a man not to shake a woman's hand that is not, you know, a family member or whatever. You don't shake uh, a stranger's hand of the opposite sex. Especially during, let's say, Raya, you go visiting and 
I would just put my hand on my chest and, and do a little bow unless this person is reaching out their hand and then then I'll shake it but uh, yeah you gotta you gotta watch out not to offend anyone by you know forcing them to shake your hand when they're not comfortable doing it so don't assume that you can shake everyone's hand all right I've got another interesting one for you you know in the Netherlands we are very open and you can you know show affection as much as you like I guess in public well of course there's limits but here in Malaysia I would advise you not to show too much affection to your partner and um, that includes like kissing or French kissing you know in public it's you know a lot of people don't really like that here um, which for me was a bit of getting used to because when I fell in love with my wife I just wanted to hug her all the time and I wanted to peck her on the cheeks and she was very uncomfortable with that in the beginning and perhaps still is so these are things that we don't really do here in public it's it's to show too much affection of course you can hold hands but uh, no like what too much um, hugging or kissing you know when there's a lot of people around you that don't know you this might be a bit offensive to them all right so let's move on to the next one all right, so the next one is quite interesting, which I learned firsthand, uh, and it's not to leave your change as a tip at a restaurant or at a coffee shop. People here, they, they want to give you your money back, they want to give you your change back, and tipping is not in the Malaysian culture. However, if you do want to tip someone, you just give them some cash uh, personally to the waiter, or some places might even have a tip jar and you just put some money in there. So don't leave your change as a tip for the waiter. All right, let me tell you a story. I used to work in Batangai, uh, which is a beautiful area here in Sarawak on the island of Borneo, in, of course, the country of Malaysia. And the, the Iban tribe used to, or they still live there, obviously. So I used to spend a lot of time with the Piba, people of the Iban tribe. Of course, we had a lot of meals together. And at one point, we were sitting in a jungle camp and we we're all sitting on the floor with all the food, you know, in the middle and we're all sitting around there and we're all eating and at one point I had to go to the toilet right so I put my plate down I got up and I walked in between the local boatman and his food and I walked through there to the toilet and when I came back he was very very angry at me and I didn't know what I did wrong everyone was looking at me and he like what did you do Nick what did you do why did why did you do that and I was like what did I do so I asked I asked our guide what I did wrong and he said, Nick, you never ever ever walk between a person and their food, which is the biggest form of disrespect in, in their culture. So keep in mind, don't walk in between a person and their food. Durian is the, obviously the king of fruits in the world and Malaysians love him. Uh, they love to eat them and another thing you don't do is to insult the durian. The durian has like a holy status here in Malaysia, so don't, don't make fun of the durian. Um, yeah, but I can't eat it. I got gastric, I got pain in my stomach. I don't like it anyway, so it's, it's always a good excuse for me not to eat it. All right, well, thanks for still watching this video. So here's the, the little fun fact, or uh, actually it's a little silly story about a thing that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia that I learned the hard way. So I was in Batangai in, in Borneo here and I was spending time with the Iban tribe and I was hanging out at, at their longhouse and we had a great great time hiking the jungles and at night we were sitting on their ruai which is their common veranda where they all hang out at night and you know I had a tune stuck in my head so I started whistling because I love whistling. I picked it up from my dad who used to whistle when you know all the time my dad used to whistle all the time and we would know that he'd be coming home where we could hear some faint whistle in the distance we would know that my dad would come home so like I said I, I love whistling and I started whistling in the longhouse and it was at night and people you know gave me the eye and it's like Nick don't don't whistle don't whistle and I'm like why what's what's wrong with a nice tune you know let's just whistle <laughs> and uh, they said Nick no 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 you don't whistle at night in the longhouse because you'll be calling the bad spirits from the forest to come and haunt us. So I never whistled again in an Iban community. All right, well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please leave that thumbs up and please leave a comment down below and tell me about other things that you shouldn't do here in Malaysia. 
if you leave that thumbs up it helps me a lot to get this video out to the whole world so please do so and if you're not subscribed yet please click that subscribe button i upload videos every week for now i'll just say bye bye and we'll see you next week bye bye